Yes, welcome to Ask When, everyone. Today with me, I have Chad, and so I'm going to let Mr. Chad take it away and explain more about what he does, and we're just going to have a natural conversation like we always do. You guys seem to enjoy that, and so welcome, Chad. Thank you. It is uh, Thursday morning, my time here. Um, I'm actually in the States, so Ooh, 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'm central time, so give or take Chicago area. Um, like I, we were joking around here, a little tired this morning, it's life, but um, I'm actually the co-host, or uh, not co-host, I'm the host. I keep forgetting the co-host. Uh, I'm the host of the podcast, He's Get Degrees. Uh, what it is, it's a podcast around many things, but the main focus is uh, comedy, mental health, and self personal development or self-help or whatever labels are at. Um, I don't want to use the term self-help as a generic term, but it's more of a personal development side of it. So i um, been rolling for about give or take. I think this is my first year doing it. I'm having a blast doing it. It's uh, you never really knew what the podcast world got dropped on my lap. We'll just say it that way. So like a friend of mine, I have two friends that run them and they're like, Hey man, just go experience it. Go have fun. Um, you know, the, the beginning that everyone does when they're trying to get into this. So, um, created the podcast and it's mainly about, it's, it's about kind of mirroring my life, but also helping you out on the other side of it. So mirroring as in the sake of my, I was that C student all the way through college, all the way through high school. Um, grades were important, but they weren't as important. Um, I've always wanted to run my own business in high school and college and all that stuff. So I didn't really focus on the 4.0. Um, I, to be a hundred percent honest, I kind of teased them back in the day saying that they spend way too much of their time <laughs> studying. Um, but what it was, was I wanted to create a podcast to where we can have everyone in the avenue kind of relate to it to where everyone had that rebel side of it growing up that kind of where the teachers told you you can't do it or people yeah. tell you you can't do it um so i mirrored down that route and say okay hey even though my grades were average i might look average at times we're going to make that average and turn into an extraordinary life so it's a, a complete 180 obviously i'm very driven i found my why um as like i said prior to recording this um at times I'm going to have to learn to hit brakes because my why is so strong right now. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. enjoy some friendly freedom and enjoy some friends and enjoy potential girlfriends or whatever it is. So it's, yeah, uh, you're like, yeah. Me. yeah. Once you get on a mission, you, it's like a dog voice above. You want to see that mission done you want to see that mission to the end you want to see that mission go and go and go until it stops or until you put the brakes on it it's a weird drive um you're 100 percent correct on that it, it took me, it took many, many life events to get to where I'm at right now. And now finally the why locked and I'm going to use the term locked. Um, obviously I'm in my thirties. So like my twenties, it was, I still wanted these goals a little bit. The main one I have, my big, big one, I still wanted that at that time. But what happened was, is if you can want that, but if you don't know the beginning to get it, you can be chasing after it the whole wrong way and you could fall on your face or completely lose your life because you don't know how to set your foundation yeah. to, to go to it. So what it is, I focus on the opposite side of it. I focus on the, the goal and dream and I completely blew away everything that was in the present versus now where I have my goals and dreams. Yes, I have my, I plan to get there but you got to take care of yourself first in the present to make sure you're strong enough and healthy enough and all that stuff to go forward with that goal. So it complete 180, complete flip. Um, I'm having a blast doing this and, uh, it's, it's kind of mirroring my little attitude at times, which I tend to tame down now, but, yeah. um, 
it's a it's a fun attitude. I have a very fun personality. I what the go ahead. I did. Too. I was going to say I did too. This is my on camera personality. This is my off camera personality. I'm a very upbeat person, even without caffeine. <laughs> I am a very upbeat person, but at the same time, I am strong and bull-headed to the degree. <laughs> I mean, let's just put it out there. Anyone that knows me personally knows that if I get pushed, oh, oh yeah, you will hear about it. And I... Um, I think that most, um, I'm the astrological sign of cancer, and most cancers are, um, we give and give and give until we get pushed. And then once we get pushed, it's like we get so bullheaded that it's not even funny. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm I'm laughing. I'm I'm not a cancer, but it's it's I'm like that where it's like uh, I I tend to yeah, it's I I give, but my giving's a little bit different. It's I think I'm just so like focused and determined because I I'm very hyperactive, so it comes out at times confident. Like I have my stuff together. I have zero thing. I will tell you this right now. I have nothing together. <laughs> and be very open about that um but what it is is i it, it i'm like an onion it takes once my story was out there i'm perfectly fine i was perfectly great i was relaxed and um, i'm i'm an open book when it comes to that stuff because it like i healed from that past um of it though like i'm a lot i'm like an onion to be 100 percent honest like people that know me well it's you just every day like I will bring it and I'll be this big, shiny, stinky onion that's going to make you cry in the kitchen. But until you really know me, it's like you have to pull some layers off to kind of see why I'm like that. So it's, uh, if people don't get the why part of it, of why I'm wired and bouncy ball and w whatever we could throw under yeah. that thing. Yeah. Um, it, it takes, a, it takes some warming up to realize what I actually have. Oh, it takes some warming up to realize that with me, it takes some warming up to realize that I'm a small cookie. I can figure stuff out in two seconds flat, despite my disability. And you watch me. You watch me. I'll figure, I'll figure stuff out, how to get my own way half of the time. And figure it out and it's like ugh man then when it goes again figuring it out and I'm like yeah I um may have a disability but I'll certainly figure it out. Yeah and and it's all of us have them. Obviously my brain I have a huge issue of focusing. Um big time issue of focusing, but it, it's, it's what I, well, it's going to mirror exactly 100% what you just said. It's on the outside. It may not look like we're paying attention or we may not look like it, but when someone flips that switch and says, Hey, you can't do this or you're getting thrown in the fire yeah. and you're, and you're going to figure it out. You better like, like I tell people do not knock me on my back. Cause I'm going to get back up. Yep. Yep. I'm not gonna. Yep. I'm not gonna fight you personally. I'm gonna grab life. I'm gonna get back up, and I'm gonna get back yep. up, swinging. <laughs> well, uh, we're not gonna fight people personally, uh, but we're going to fight life, and <laughs> you're gonna be, people are gonna be knocked out of the way in the process. Oh yeah, there's a bulldozer in me, big time bulldozer. It's, yep, it's, there's a there's a bulldozer in me. Personally, I have a bulldozer in my blood and in my genes, and um, and so if you had, if you 
if you if your best friend had to write a book about you, what would the title be? Oh, 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 wow, that's a good one. I like that question. Um, wow, yeah, I don't even. I'm just, I'm gonna use one word, and I can't even think of one word because I'm so complex. Um. Here's a saying, and I'm just going to say it this way, and I don't know if we can edit it on your end of it or not, but I'm just going to be a little bit more professional with words here. What the hell? <laughs> and not hell in a bad way. It's There's a few other words I want to throw in there. Um, the reasoning for that is, is there's so much complex moving parts that, A, I can be super professional and 100% business business minded and I can turn around and I can be that kid within five minutes. If someone cuts me loose and we're having fun, like I can turn around and be that kid that's going to put on like a costume or, or drop my pants and wound yeah. someone or whatever. Just it's there, there's a, there's a quick switch where it goes from very business driven. And then when I know it's fun, I can just flip that switch and turn around when I'm on and be that complete goofball that uh tries to make people laugh so it's there there's a happy balance there but yeah that what the what the hell or yeah. there's another word that we can have <laughs> exactly no because you um you like me when people let me i can put <clears throat> on this business persona but when people really get to know me they really understand what is um going on yeah and the running joke growing up and even now with you know like my mother my sister and friends or whatever like they'll sit there and i'll go on a i'll go on a roll and uh they'd be like what the hell's going on with that kid's head <laughs> yeah no. but it, it, it's it's a good way it's not a bad way and so do you have any favorite books? Um, yes, my favorite book is actually the Bible. Um, I, from right now, it's, it's the only book that I read. Um, the reasoning is I'm actually a visual learner, but the foundation, the knowledge, obviously I'm a born again Christian. So um, I, I love what he's done for my life, uh, but to me, that book has so much wisdom and knowledge and everything in it that you could go through the whole self-help. And I'm, I'm looking at your picture right now. There's what, like 150 books behind you? Yeah, there probably is. And uh, pretty much you can take probably three quarters of those books and crunch it into one book. And that's, yeah. that's the only good book is what they, so um, that's the only one I read right now. Um, but like I said, mine, I'm heavy. I'm a visual and audio learner. So I just learned to use my uh, learning style correctly. So like I'll, I'll listen to podcasts, I'll listen to videos on YouTube or whatever. So that's my main learning too right now. So um, you're visual and audio. I'm hundred, I'm heavy visual and audio just because of my uh, focus. I don't want to say issue. my just I've, I've learned to work with what I'm very good at and yeah. uh that's that's what it is see me I'm audio and people know it I am a little bit visual but um due to my stigmatisms I can't um necessarily look at look at what I'm doing I need to hear what I'm doing. And um, school is not meant for ideal learners. School is meant for visual learners. I, um, I've gotten away with help. I've gotten away with e-textbooks. And so, but I can't focus on a task I'm a... <laughs> bouncing ball when it comes 
to now you guys really get to know me i am a bouncing ball when it comes to focusing on tasks if someone says okay when you need to focus on this task for about an hour i'm like okay i'll focus on it for about an hour but then i need to move on to something else oh yeah i'll give it at most 10 minutes <laughs> Well, I'm better than me, you are. <laughs> but, and I'm like, uh, no, visual stuff makes me frustrated. And I think my fan base knows that by now. So as we wrap this interview up, do you have any questions for me? Um, Actually, I was going to say in... I this was about a month and a half ago, I think is when you sent the form for me. Cause I've been, we've been adjusting some time just because scheduling and stuff. So I think the big one is it, it changed to now and I'm going to reword it differently, but obviously you're in the podcast industry and you're more seasoned down the route than I am. Yes. From when someone looks at the industry, how can someone say, okay, let's start a podcast, let's build a base, let's monetize it, however, that whole package, instead of, you know, focusing on one thing, but how can someone take their passion, like me, you, whoever, build together a plan and make that their life? Okay. Well, first of all, you have to decide whether am I really going to do this? Is this something I really want to be passionate enough? Do I have the fire in my heart to have the drive and the passion behind it? And I know you do, I know I do, but a lot of people don't. And so it may be a YouTube channel that they try, it may be a podcasting thing that they try but passion is number one because i have been doing well i have on that feed i have over thirteen thousand episodes and so i've been doing this for 10 years and this is actually my first year since um march that i've been doing it full time so um, people have got to have that passion and people have um, got to, I have come to find out that talking to sponsors and being out there every day and being visual, being visible every day, that's the trick. The sponsors are the trickiest part. So what I found with me is I, um, before I got into this podcasting realm, I got, I wrote a book. And so that book, I Come A Win, still sells on Amazon to this day. If you look up I, comma, W-I-N, for those who are listening, um, that is my book and yes it's in audio and yes it's all over the place and so i um i think that's easier doing your own content than having a having a sponsor because the sponsor you have to do what they say and i've tried the sponsorship well and it doesn't work for me having my own content and building a base off that content is something that does work for me and people seem to really enjoy my content somehow you people have fallen in love with sam Halsey, which um makes me incredibly happy but um, but it's something you have to have the fire in your heart to do. And it's something you want to do because when you sit down at a computer and do this, 
back to back to back, you know, like with a lunch break in between, obviously. And it's, you're going to be like, okay, do I want to do this? And the days you don't feel like doing it, then you get a message from a fan saying, I really love your work or something to that effect. Then you'll pick the, you get back on the horse and do it again. Yeah, and I was, I've had, so mine's a little, like mine's in the first year into it. And um, when you say like the back, the back, the back, so like three episodes in a day, I'm going to, I'm going to say it this way. So like I work full time, I do some other things on the side. And then I also record during the week. So I will record, I think now typically I'm running about four episodes a week, but of recording when the people that get into it and you can add into this, is, this is what I'm noticing. Like for me, it's very easy having a black, you know, having, I'm having a blast doing all the zoom calls and getting to know people and all that. Like I said, I'm not a detail oriented at the time. So like when you're getting new to this, the editing portion of it, is the part that gets me where it's like, Oh, I can't sit down for like an hour or two just to hear this through. I, and I'm going to get a little spiritual here, here, but like the more he puts on your plate, the more you can handle, the more he's going to give you on your plate. Um, to me right now, my max is about four to five episodes a week on top of working full time and all that stuff. Yeah. The reasoning for it is, you have so much time, focus, and energy to do something. So, like, obviously, I work out every day. Now I'm putting a few more things on my plate with uh, someone I'm talking to now. But last week, I completely crashed because I, I went four episodes, five episodes, six episodes, like, in a three-week process. So I did almost – I was on pretty much a Zoom call, like, once or twice a day for, like, the last 20-something days or whatever it is. If you don't sit down and shut down for one or two days and kind of recoup and completely shut your computer off, you're going to get burned out like I did. And not burned out, burned out, but just burned out in a good way where it's like, dude, you got to take a break. And uh, I, I want the ability. I'm having a blast with this. This isn't, and I'm going to, you're going to completely get this, but it's, I'm not working when I'm doing this because it's, it's, it's that fun, that much fun with me. Um, is with me too. I mean, people think, oh, when you're working as a journalist, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm on a Zoom call with a friend. <laughs> yeah, and, and everyone's like, how do you do this? I'm like, uh, you just do it. You have fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that, that's the part that the more I get into this, the more I'm figuring out my limitations, the more I, it's time blocks and all that stuff. But no, I, I would love to have the ability to record two, three, four a day if I could. Uh, it, it just, I have to, uh, something to pull away that 40 hours and open up, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever it is. Uh, but right now there's a huge block of full-time work that's taken some of my time here and focus. So it's, I have to take care of that first, but um, yeah, no, it's, I'm having a blast doing this. It's, I'm not at that book part yet or, or the, the additional add-ins with content and all that, but it's, I, I'm loving the industry so far and it's a newer industry too. Yep. And it's a newer industry and it, um, it has potential to grow. And so where can people find you and where can people get a hold of you if they choose to do so? Okay, so we're going to break it down a few ways here. So uh, obviously my name is Chad M. Smith. So my podcast is C's Get Degrees on Spotify, iHeart, um, iTunes, the, the main providers so like iHeart, YouTube, um, iTunes, Spotify. I'm sure I'm missing a few here. Um, at Instagram, it is at the Chad M. Smith. Uh, my podcast is at C Get Degrees. And then Facebook is Facebook, you know, Chad M. Smith. Um, and then it's going to be converted to a CH brand. So we're going to have some fun here. But it's it's the company is going to be called CH Brand. 
um, that's going to be all of my content and stuff for this. So um, email the chat at gmail. It's pretty simple. So it's, uh, well, yeah, no, it's pretty simple. I, I do return if I get caught up with work or something and someone has messages, feel free. Just give me, I will have it returned within 24 hours, but yep. it's, uh, it's sometimes I do get caught up, but no, I try to return immediately. Um, but obviously yes, schedule sometimes overlap with that. Yep. Well, I want Chad give us the podcast name again, just so people get it clear in their heads. Okay, it is C's, like the letter C's. Yeah. Get get degrees. C's get degrees. Okay. C's, C's get degrees. You guys. Yep, and it's going from average to extraordinary. So when you go on Spotify or iTunes. Look for this yellow picture with the dude sitting on a table with his legs on top of the table. If if you have it with the chalkboard in the back, that is my podcast. Well, yep. Yep. See, so get the great guys. And so hopefully you will um, tune in to see so get the great. I will definitely tune in and I really appreciate you guys supporting me and I really appreciate Chad coming on and sharing his story and I'll be back next week. You guys will all be back um, with another fabulous interview and you guys have over 16,000 interviews to listen to so that should keep you company for a little while. <laughs> And so I will catch you guys later. Thanks. See you guys. Bye.